Well, good news, guys. The um, the solar meter was installed, I think. Let's go check it out. And then, actually, I should take my backpack off. Also, today I'm getting a delivery of a couch that we ordered a few weeks ago. So, that's also exciting. It's supposed to come last week. But this could mean that I'm about to go up my roof and actually do some um, some solar cleanup down there. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, there's some foot marks here. The guys are here. Some big old boots. All right. Yep. Boom. It is here. So we've got the whole setup now. Oh, this is not turned on yet, but I just emailed my solar company to see if I can turn the switch on down in the basement that, that plugs into the meter. Very, very, very exciting though, guys. Oh, jeez. There we go. We're going to attempt the DIY. So there's the instructions here. And uh, get this guy installed. So it says, uh, turn off power, remove the front plate. I'm going to mount on the outside because I do have a panel here that I can use and put it down here. And then, uh, so that way I won't need the antenna to put a hole in the bottom for the antenna. And then um, hook it up, put the clamps on, connect, and then fire it up. But I have one more step, which is the solar part as well. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, solar panels are now, um, the meter's hooked up, so I can flip the switch whenever I'm ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get ready for that by doing this first. When I do turn this off, I'm gonna get some noise from back over there. That's uh, my UPS backup. And I also have backup uh, power upstairs, so those will beep at me, but no big deal. All right, main switch. Boom. Yeah, it's not happy with me. Okay, let's unscrew the uh, the front of this panel. All right, front panel is off. So now I have to look for, so these are my inbounds from the uh, from the pole. Don't touch those, obviously. And then the solar ones are coming straight up here. So I guess I can hook to those, the, the sense as well. Uh, I will need, though, to put a hole through this guy probably here and here for uh, getting it the, I'm gonna mount it like here or here somewhere. But I need two spares that have uh, space. I think I was told I have one here. I'm not seeing one. So let me let me tell the recording so I'm not talking to myself. And one, so make sure it's not a 120, but it's a 240. So any of these will work. Uh, I can also add one, which I might actually go to the store in a couple days and add one new, just to uh, make it cleaner. But for now, I'm just gonna tap into one of these 240s that has nothing going on. And then the third wire goes into one of these neutral uh, points here, and there is a free one over there. So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna not record this just for my own safety. I'm sure the electrician out there is freaking out right now. But basically, we've got the sense thing coming out here. We've got this going into here and here, so black and and red. We have the white going up there into the uh, the neutral. So I'm going to mount the guy down here, and then uh, fix the solar bits to get the uh, the clamps through. It just says to basically make sure these labels are facing out towards the power line, the power source, and mine goes straight up out there. So. I'm gonna face these up. I don't know which one I clamp. I guess I clamp the main ones, right? Not the red and black, but the ones actually going right into the breaker there. So make sure that the clamps are hooked up to the sense first before you do this. Let's just do, I'm gonna do one at a time. So the other one just dropped there. So we got number one. Let's go up high. Like that. Maybe let's do this one this way. Actually, this way. Be the proper way, right? Because it's gonna. The thing is I want to make sure it, it faces up, but I also want to be able to close this thing. I guess it'll close fine. And then the other one, I haven't killed myself yet, would face up as well, like that. Darn, I almost forgot the solar element of it. Whoops. So solar element's going to happen next. There's a plug on the middle of the uh, factory setup that you hook into the inbound from the solar. Solar sensor in the middle, and that just goes there. It does say clamp solar sensors around the wires to the incoming solar feed. The both labels face the same direction around the wires to the incoming solar feed. Face the same direction. Oh, the direction sensor does not matter as long as they have the same kind of power. All right, so I put the uh, the solar sensors, they're here. I put them through the same hole as the last one coming out this direction, and then they're going to go to this middle port here with the, uh, the sunlight, uh, sunbeam on it. Now that I know that the uh, the red and the black coming off here are the uh, inbound sensors, I'm going to put the sun facing upward around them. 
and it just said it doesn't really matter the orientation as long as the orientation is the same as the other one. So sun is facing out. We'll do the same with this guy. Sun is facing out like that. And should these guys not be touching? I don't really know. We'll have to manage these cables now. I'll uh, manage that and then I'll come back. All right, this is the final physical setup. So I've got this guy running clean enough. I'm gonna manage some of this cable and get this antenna with a, um, a screw in zip tie mount fastened probably here so it does get uh, some service. And then we've got the all the cables coming in. We've got some zip tie here running up. And I moved these down. These are the uh, the inbound service and the solar inbounds. So let's uh, cut these zip ties off and then I'll replace the panel and fire it up. All right, well, moment of truth. So I'm gonna turn the main on back on and we're just gonna hope for the best. I don't think there are status lights in this thing. It won't tell me if it's actually on or not, I don't think. But uh, I put the panel back up. I don't think I had to, but I'm trying to be as careful as possible. If uh, this is the last video, um, Mom, sorry I did this myself. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one on first. This is where the sense is plugged in. Hmm, nothing exploded. And I don't see any lights. So, I guess we just keep going. Hmm, it appeared, it appeared to not kill me. Um, all right, cool. Oh, this is exciting. See that light? Aha! <laughs> I didn't kill myself. The lights came back on and it appears to be working. I'm a little amazed at myself. All right, so I'm out setting this thing up. My uh, Unify router doesn't support WPS and the guy on the phone, Solar company said he has to uh, send someone out to set it up and I said I can probably figure it out myself and he said ah there's the internet port but it's not accessible well yes it is you just gotta take out the protective thing that says warning voltage but um we're just in the MacBook Pro we're gonna try to get it set up here configured to the Wi-Fi without them having to come out and uh, it is producing right now it's just not uh reporting anything up to in phase or up to my uh monitoring well I couldn't get that to work so I ran a big long uh cat5 cable over to the ethernet jack and lo and behold it is showing up in unify there it is envoy so let's see if we can get it to show up here boom connected 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 all right time to configure wi-fi oh it uh i know this password it gave me a uh a password i gotta stop recording though because it's, it's on my laptop boom 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 and the password and we're good to go Okay, so connect. So great, so uh, did not need those guys to come out and help me. <laughs> Access now, so I'm just gonna unhook this guy here. Boom, and put the shield back on so it's uh, not a safety hazard anymore. But we are uploading to the web.